The Objects Palette is a powerful tool in all plan for exploring the contents of a project. In this video, we will explore only some of the features of the Objects Palette by learning how to sort, organize, and select objects. Just like the objects that can be seen in your viewports, only the objects in drawing files that are active or open can be seen in the Objects Palette. The Objects Palette provides several different options for sorting the objects in the drawing files. We'll start at the Sort by Drawing File option. Sort by Drawing File organizes the objects in the project first by Drawing File, then by Object Group, then by Object Type. Let's expand the contents of the active drawing file. We can see that there are three object groups in this drawing file. By expanding the text group, we see there are two object types in the group, text and text leader. Finally, expand the two types to see the individual objects. Selections can be made at any organizational level. You can select all objects in a drawing file. All objects within a group. All objects in a type. Or simply individual objects. Notice that when a selection is made, other levels are updated to show that objects are selected, unselected, or partially selected. The order in which the objects are organized can be adjusted. For instance, the objects could be organized first by group, then by type, and lastly by drawing file. This can be helpful for selecting a specific object type across all drawing files. The other sorting options also include the object group and object type. However, each has a different first level of organization. Topology, which relates to the building structure. Layer. Material. Trade. and attribute. While the name attribute is used by default, you can choose to use any attribute. 